nice and silky. And this is fawn. And that one, which is there, this is Ophelia. She has trust issues. This is three days after being spayed, and they're living in separate travel tanks just until they've healed. Uh, it was recommended to keep them in these for about a week. And we use all kinds of odds and ends, box inserts, shoe boxes, boxes, and drain pipe, which they seem to really enjoy. And I build a maze out of the box inserts, and then I put the tops on. That way they don't just go jumping over. When they get rambunctious, they'll knock this all over. But I like to hide treats in these so that they get to find cool stuff as they're going around. Sometimes I'll turn one of these into a burrow box and just fill it with litter and hide treats in the burrow so that they can dig around and find stuff. Selkie is the friendliest of these three. She loves to groom people. She does. Yeah. <laughs> you silly girl. You silly girl. Here comes Fawn. Yeah, it's a good girl. Yeah. And so, oops, Selkie is on top of the camera. I can't even see what I'm filming right now. Hey, no, you cannot chew the handle. Their incisions look really good. There's no swelling, no redness, no seepage. So, and they're not licking at them as much as they were the first day. Nobody's having any complications. No more medicine reactions. Hi, Ophelia. <laughs> Down the shirt. I really love this setup. Oh, somebody wants to go out my sleeve, but I've got it bunched. She's going to have to find something else. And they're really going crazy over this Harlan Tech Lab food. So I'm really glad that I switched. Well, that gives you a good idea of the setup that we use. We didn't have to really buy a whole lot, just the drain pipe and and that wasn't terribly expensive for the amount that you get compared to what they want at the pet store for all those little accordion type pipes. So, well, that's it.